Oh, there you are. Welcome back to the channel, guys. This one's about the version three headlamps. You probably already know that because I just showed you, but they are absolutely sick, guys. And Transport HQ has hooked me up with these new version three headlamps, already running their version two headlamps, which I absolutely love. So um, we're just raising the bar up all the time here, guys, because um, they've sent me the, the, the lights and also we've got those brand new LED um, bulbs that, that go in the headlamps that they've been sort of working on for a little while just to get them through all the processes they needed to do so they could launch these lights. It's all here. Let's crack this stuff open and see what we got, shall we? a knife it's not really a knife is there anybody else this is a coronavirus getting to anybody else because I'm, I'm losing it <laughs> oh Oh, oh, nice little key tag as well. Oh, yeah. Got the destructions. beast don't they guys yeah all right so we're gonna get the van sorted out spun round set up so as I can whip the bumper off and then we get these fitted um, some of the differences that you've got on these compared to the v2s is the um, DRL light they've put a different covering on there so I think when these are fired up there will be less visible leds but also this is the indicator this time um that, that actually uh, turns from drl to indicator so um yeah looking forward to see how that works out uh, let me know in the comments below which you think are the best the v2s or the v3 so far and then uh, we'll see what it's like when we get to the end and we can show the final result if you if, if you um I'm not going to show the bumper getting taken off, etc. this time, so I think I've done that at least two or three times now. Check out the last DRL video on the channel if you want the full breakdown of how that works. Or uh, you can head over to Transport HQ's channel because they've got a better tutorial, I think, on that as well, explaining how to do it. Um, but anyway, uh, let's get on with this video, guys. Okay, 
Okay, I'm just setting the van. I'm going to go through these um, LED bulbs now because whilst we've got the lights off the um, <clears throat> whilst we've got the lights off the van, it's going to be a lot easier to install these now, obviously, and then we can just fit the whole light unit in. Some nice air fresheners. Cool. what we're looking at in the case guys all right so I don't know too much about this kind of stuff but I know that that is to do with um, making sure your van doesn't have any error codes when you uh, why when you replace your headlamps with these that deals with it I believe the, the unit there um, and all this has been designed to tuck inside the hole. So let's go ahead and get this one put in so you can see. Okay, pop off this rubber cap. You don't want to slip out the bulb that comes with it here. got a positive and a negative on here plus and a minus so the black is going to be your negative so, up like that. she's in okay so the bulbs in now there's room in there to tuck this in Canvas inside. There she goes. She's in. And then pop your rubber cap back on. And you're done. Alright, so we're finally ready to get this bumper off, get these lights swapped over. Um, these are the V2s. And these are the V3s. Alright guys, thanks for watching the version 3 DRL video. I um, want to say a big thank you to Transporter HQ for supplying the lights and the bulbs. Um, just a word to say about these LED bulbs, they're not actually road legal, as you probably saw on the packaging. However, if you're using them in these Transporter HQ version lights, whether it's one, version 1, 2 or 3, I think, the um, prism style um, ball I don't know what its technical name is but I'll put it up on screen when I figure it out in a minute um, it kind of covers it camouflages the fact that you're using these style bulbs because you can't actually see the bulb through the lens um, so uh, I just recommend that you keep your original headlamp bulbs and if there are any MOT issues you can switch them back out no problem but they certainly wouldn't be detectable at the roadside um, looking forward to doing a road test on them when I can get out, but um, obviously there's no real end date on this at the moment. Um, however, I think they look really good on the on the van. Be interested to hear in, in the comments below whether you like the version 2 or the version 3 the best. Um, still a big fan of the version 2. I'm going to link uh, Transporter HQ's channel because uh, I think you should head over there if you're not already subscribed and uh, 
and give them a subscription as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Um, be grateful if you give the video a thumbs up and share the video out to anybody you think might like to see it. And uh, as for taking the bumper off, as you saw, I, I sort of skimmed over that on this video, but I've done it two or three times before. I'll put a link above me for a video where you can pick up. On the previous DRL video, I did the whole breakdown of that. So um, once you finish watching this video, go and uh, watch that one if you want to see how to take the bumper off. It's, uh, it is a driveway mod you can do. So that's about it, guys. I'm going to end the video there. Um, thanks ever so much for watching. Plenty more content to come. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Thank you.